number series. This is one of the trickiest topic of reasoning. What makes it tough is there are infinite number of series, which makes it really difficult for us to predict which kind of series they are asking. The only way to get over this is practice. In this section, you will see a series of numbers. We need to analyze them and identify the pattern and then find the missing term or the wrong term in the series. Let's get started with the series completion. The first one is number series. Before we start with the topic, there are a few things you need to do. First, learn the tables 20 by 20. There is still 20th table and each table 1 to 20. Then master the squares and cubes till 30 and focus on practicing more questions. Okay, here we go. The first one is direct series. Look at these numbers. 576, 625, 676, 729. Do you see any pattern? The first thing we observe is it's increasing. And here is the key term. Look at this number, 625. This is 25 square. How about 576? This is 24 square. This is 26 square, 27 square. So what do you think this will be over here? This should be 28 square, which is 784. That's the answer. Let's try one more. 4913, 4096, 3375, 2744. Here you see that the numbers are decreasing. Secondly, look at the reduction. You see from 900, it has gone to 096. Again, from here, there's a drastic reduction, drastic reduction. So it is not squares. So then think of cubes. This is 17 cube. This is 16 cube, 15 cube, 14 cube. So here it will be 13 cube, which is 2197. Hope you are clear with this. But generally in the exams, the series won't be that much direct. Generally, you will see the second type of questions that is either the difference or the ratio. Let me give you an example. Look at this number 125, 80, 45 and 20. Now here we don't see any direct square or a cube number. Then what we can do is we can go for the difference of these numbers. So 125 minus 80 that is 45. Then 80 minus 45 that's 35. Then 45 minus 20 that's 25. So do you see a pattern? We have 45, 35, 25. So what could be this particular difference? It has to be 15. So if it has to be 15, then what do you think the number will be here? It is 5. So 20 minus 5 is 15. Let's try one more. Here we have 336, 168, 84, 42 and 21. Now if you have a close observation, you can see 21 to 42. Do you see that 21 into 2 is 42? What about these two? 42 into 2 becomes 84. Then again, you multiply by 2, it's 168. Then again, multiplied by 2, it is 336. Or I can say the ratio of the numbers, that is 336 divided by 168 is 2. Or 168 by 84 is 2. The ratio is common. So what do you think will be this particular number? Again, if you multiply by 2, it has to be 21 or take the half of 21, 21 by 2, this becomes 10.5, therefore the answer is 10.5. That is the second method, either you go by difference or by ratio or a division. The other type of series is second level series. Look at these numbers, 4, 5, 9, 16, 26, 39. Now if we go by difference. The difference of these two is 1, then these two is 4, then these two is 7, then it is 10, then 13. Now the difference is not same, but on a close observation, at a second level, there is a pattern. That is, if you take the difference of these two again, 4 minus 1, this is 3, then 7 minus 4 is again 3, this is again 3, and this is 3. So definitely at this point, you should get a difference of 3. Or just add these two. So 13 plus 3, this is 16. So this is in second level. So what will be in the first level? 
again add these two 39 plus 16 it is 55 let's try one more 10 13 19 28 and 40 now again if you go by difference this is 3 then 6 9 12 now what do you observe in the second level this is the base number 3 into 2 we have 6 and 3 into 3 we have 9 and 3 into 4 we have 12 and obviously at here it should be 3 into 5 15 therefore in the first level you just add these two so 40 plus 15 55 i hope you are able to make it the next common series you will find in the exams is primes look at this number can you make out what could be the series yes these are squares so this is 11 square 7 square 5 square 3 square 1 square so 1 3 5 7 11 so what will be here it should be 13 square 1 16 9 look at this 5 5 15 75 525 it's pretty clear these are multiples of 5 so just look at the ratio this is 1 how about this 3 then 5 and 7 so this has to be 11 so 525 into 11 it is 5775 i hope you are able to get it then sometimes you could see double sequences something like 0 2 3 5 8 10 15 17 24 26 here there is no direct method you need to try out different ways in that one of the ways the double sequence so for that we just need to look out for the alternating numbers so look out the alternate numbers do you see any pattern if you take the difference this is 3 this is 5 7 9 so these are the odd numbers so what could be the next number it has to be 11 so 24 plus 11 this is 35 and just for confirmation whether we are doing it right or wrong we can just take the difference of the other numbers here the difference is 3 then 5 then here it is 7 then it is 9 so we are in the right way and here is the last model that is finding the wrong term sometimes you are given a sequence you just need to find which among them does not follow the pattern so again let's go with the famous method that is differences so if i take the difference this is 6 12 24 50 94 192 if you closely observe 6 is becoming 12 that is twice 12 is becoming 24 again twice here there is a problem this is not becoming twice again here also there is a problem it is not becoming twice so probably there is a mistake over here so if we go by our logic it has to be twice therefore it has to be 48 so if it is 48 just add 46 plus 48 this will become 94 now take the difference of 94 and 90 this is 96 and then 192 which is actually in the right way now this makes sense because double of 48 is 96 again double of 96 is 192 therefore our guess is right this particular number has to be 94 in order to follow the pattern so this is the wrong term in this lecture we have seen different type of questions asked from the number series and the methods to solve them. Practice well, all the best. In this section, the questions are with a single letter pattern or maybe sometimes pair of letters or even a group of letters. The terms in the series follow a certain pattern based on the positions of the letters with respect to the English alphabet. We need to decode the pattern and find the missing term or the wrong term. There are a few things to do before we get into the topic. The first thing is memorize the alphabet positions. Very, very important. The next thing is drill the alphabets left to right even from right to left. This gives you more command over the alphabet and makes your solving process easy. Here we have the first question. The alphabets are T, R, P and L. What do you think? The first observation is the alphabets are decreasing. Now are there any alphabets missing? Yes. After L, we have actually M, then N, 
then O, then P, then Q, R, then S and T. So the difference between the alphabet positions is 2. So if you take these two difference, 2, 2, 2. So obviously even it has to be 2. So L, before L we have K, before K we have J. Then before J it is I and before I it is H. Therefore the answer is J and H. Let's try one more. Look at this. We have A, I, P, V, A, E. It's easy if you can write down the positions. The position of A is 1, I is 9, P is 16, V is 22, A is 1, E is 5. Now if we take the difference, this is 8. It's increasing by 8. And over here, it's increasing by 7. Here it is increasing by 6. How about here? So after V, we have W, X, Y, Z. Then after that, it is starting with A. So again, here difference is 5. And this is 4. Now what do you think? This has to be plus 3. There after E, F, G, H. So that's the answer. Sometimes you see double letters. Now, can you make out something in this? If you look at the first positions, here it is A, then B, then C. So, what do you think it should be over here? Obviously, it has to be D. How about here? I, J, K. What about here? It has to be L. You are right. And then sometimes you see three letters. Now, any observation? Yes, these are collective letters. So, D, E, F, H, I, J, M and O. So even these three letters will be in a sequence. That's the observation. Now look at the difference of these two. This is plus 4. From H to M, this is plus 5. So it has to be plus 6. So from M, go for the 6th position, that will be S. Now we already know this has to be in sequence. Therefore, this will be S, T and U. I hope you are clear with this. And sometimes instead of letters, they may give you a word. Look at this. Perpendicular. Look at the second word. Is there anything missing? Yes. The first alphabet, last alphabet have been struck off. Now from second to third, the first and the last is struck off. What do you think? What we will do is, we will strike off the first and the last. So what is left out? P E N D I C U. That's the answer. This is an easy topic. Practice well, all the best. The third type of question in the series is alphanumeric series, which is actually a combination of the first and the second, that is numeric as well as alphabet. Let's get started. Series completion, alphanumeric. Here is the first question. Observe this series and see if you can find the answer. I hope you got the answer. Here is the solution. Look at the first letters. Here we have K, I, G and E. It's clear that the alphabets are decreasing. That's going backward. From K to I, there's a shift by 2 in the backward direction. Again from I to G, it's backward direction by 2. Even to E, the same thing. So from E, we need to move back in two letters. So this will become C. Now look at the second position. We have M, then P, S and V. This is increasing. From M to P, there is a shift by 3. From P to S, there is a shift by 3. And from S to V, again a shift by 3. So from V, we need to move forward by three positions. Therefore, it becomes Y. Now look at the numbers. We have 5, 8, 11 and 14. This is 5 plus 3 is 8. Then 8 plus 3 is 11. And 11 plus 3 is 14. So 14 plus 3, that becomes 17. Therefore, the answer is C, Y, 17. I hope you got the same answer. Let's try one more. Now look at the first letters. We have 2, 4, 12. From 2 to 4, there is a multiplication by 2. From 4 to 12, 
there's a multiplication by 3 so from 12 to the next one there should be a multiplication by 4 so 12 fourths 48 now look at the second letter we have a then d then g a to d there's a shift by 3 in the positive direction then again from d to g there's a shift by 3 so from g you take a shift by 3 so that becomes j now look at the numbers we have 11 13 17 so 11 plus 2 is 13 13 plus 4 is 17 then 17 plus 6 is 23 the reason i am taking 6 over here is we have 2 then 4 then 6 it's an even progression i hope you are able to get it therefore here the answer is 48 j 23 i hope you are clear with the alphanumeric series now let's get into the continuous pattern series continuous pattern series in this you will see a series of letters generally two or three letters in a mixed pattern with some gaps in between now we need to fill these gaps here's the first question so we have a a b a a a b b a so the only two letters they are using is a and b therefore this gap has to be filled with a or b even this with a or b even this with a or b now if you observe the first two letters are a therefore there is a maximum possibility that the next two letters will be b so we can fill it with b then here we see three a's and after the gap we see two b's so probably if i put a b this becomes three a's and three b's then after this there could be four a's and four b's something of that sort so the next possibility is a so here the gaps could be b b a this is my logic now it is not compulsory this is the only logic there are few other possibilities let's try one more possibility the first two is a so the next has to be b so that a a b b then we have three a's then here you see two b's so probably if i take two b's as together then i can make this as a so two a's two b's then four a's then two b's then probably six a's then two b's something of that sort so here it could be a so this could be b a a as well so it really depends now you need to look into the options then filter out the correct option let's try one more here we have a b and some gaps then b a a then two gaps then a b and a gap here the key for solving these kind of questions is keen observation glance all the options then go to the question and in the worst case if you are unable to find the answer then go by substitution and for this question let's go by substitution if i go by substitution the answer is b so if i fill this this becomes a b a a b a a then b a a so that it becomes a b a and again a b a then a b a again here a b a that's the end for series completion